Greetings everyone, Gavin here from the Academy of Chinese Swordsmanship. Got two swords to review, quick, nice quick video today. There we've got a Dardao and we've got a Pudao from Daniel uh, from Crane Sword Studios in Poland. I've been waiting on these for quite a while. Uh, they got stuck up in customs, so when I got them out of the box yesterday, I was like, yay! The first one, first impressions on the Dardao was how different this was from the Black Fencer synthetic Dardao, which is the only sword that I've had to play with to practice the Dardao form. Trouble with that is it's very, very light. So when we was doing some of the more, in, let's call it enthusiastic thrusts with a, with a bayonet or with a spear, I was finding it didn't have the mass to get behind to do the, uh, to really counter the cut. This definitely does. Soon as I picked it up, it was like, yeah, this has got some mass behind it and I could get a real powerful cut. Design wise, it's uh, got a ring pommel, nice grip, the sword guard pinned through the middle, that's going nowhere, and a really nice robust, uh, robust sword uh, blade. Um, the only things that I would like to see changed, and when I spoke to Daniel about this, to give him my impressions, the first thing he said he, was that the ring still needs some work on. And really, that's pretty much all that I would um, want changed on it, other than personal choices from that, is when I'm finding that I grip, when I grip the dart out, I like cupping it with the palm so I can get more control and more power and a bit more snap into the cuts. This is quite high. The, when you use a ring pummel on a steel one, it's pretty much the same size as a grip, so it doesn't cause you to have to adjust your wrist grip. So that, particularly once you've got sparring gloves on, and we did a little tiny bit of sparring with gloves on with this last night, really affects your grip. So this is gonna be, I would recommend just cutting this down a little bit and refining that. From a personal point of view, I like a Dardao that you can use both as a single-handed and a double-handed. And this, I find, is just on the limits of what I would be able to control with a, a single-handed grip. As a double grip, really works nicely. With that um, ring pommel the way it is, I feel that I need about an inch or two extra on the grip. But I think once that's smoothed off, I'll be able to use this quite comfortably. And because it's quite tip heavy, I would probably want it a little bit longer in both the pommel, uh, sorry, in both the grip and into the sword. So that I think would just balance it out and smooth it out because I need to move quite quickly when you're doing the spear. So when the spear, it can change direction really quickly. So if you come in and you've got a recapture after each thrust, I find I need the speed, I just need it smoothed out just a little bit to be able to come through, but that's just personal preference. So let's put this down and we'll have a quick look at the uh, Pudel. This is the Pudel. I will be completely honest with you and tell you that this was an impulse buy because Daniel had some of them and I've been really interested in learning pole arms. I've never done any pole arm work with it before. So I'm not gonna be like so many of the YouTube videos and say, I've never used a pole arm before, so I'm gonna spend 15 minutes talking about it. Uh, I'm gonna probably share this within the practical swordsmanship face group of my little journey of trying to adapt the forms. All of the forms I've found out uh, so far on YouTube look to be more wushu style with very flimsy blades and that very that affects the way you would use a weapon. It balances very differently. So we're currently on the hunt for some good old robust military forms but just as a bit of fun to play with I've tried adapting the Dardao form and also the Meowdao form and once I got my head round the balancing I actually found it works quite well uh, so I'm not going to bore you with how I think a Dao, uh, Pudao should be used let's just talk about the construction I really like the pommel on the end although Pudao's didn't traditionally have those uh, after speaking to Rodel Lausha. But this is what I would like to see the profile of the Dardao shape like. This really fits very nicely into the palm of the hand so you can really work into it. Lovely strong shaft, the guard, super, super robust like all of Daniel Sabres pin through the middle, and a really nice profile on the blade that has some really nice heft when you're putting the cuts in. I find this to be fun to play with. I have no idea what I'm doing with it at the moment, but I'm really looking forward to using that more so. Uh, but in terms of could I make this work as a weapon in sparring, now I've kind of got a little bit of a handle on 
the way the balance is working, I think I could use this. So I'm really looking forward to delving deeper into that. If anyone's got any good military forms, please post them in the comments below. So there you go, two swords for you. We've got the Pudau from Daniel and we have the Dardau there. Really nice, robust, solid sparring swords. They'll probably last you a lifetime. Links to Daniel's stuff will be in the description. Until next time, guys, see you soon.